Hi guys, welcome back. This weekend we decided to put in a lot of work and get the first side of the bus painted. So we chose to do this in two phases. So this first weekend we did the driver's side and the rear. Um, this is because it's just so much work. This took us a full three days to do. So you'll see here I'm starting by sanding the entire length of the bus. And I sanded the flat parts with this flat sander while Sven sanded the kind of nooks and crannies with this fancy sanding ball. And there's the sanding ball. So this really cool gadget allowed us to kind of get into all the spaces that weren't able to be reached by the flat sander and that would have taken us days to sand by hand. And this took us the better part of the day to finish this driver's side and rear. While Sven finished up the back, I started wiping down the window sills with mineral spirits to get all that extra paint dust off. And the little spots inside the window sills had to be sanded by hand because we just couldn't get the electric sanders in there and then wiped down with the mineral spirits, which we also ended up wiping down the entire surface of the bus with so that we could get that nice, even paint coat. And you'll see I'm just cleaning up that silicone on the windows because it got really gunky in the weeks since we've sealed the windows. And now we are taping off all of our windows and other parts of the bus that we don't want to get paint or primer on. And Sven came from the inside. I cut all of these plastic sheets to be just the right size. He taped them to the tops of the windows. And then we came from the outside and fully taped them all the way around the windows. And we had some back and forth about whether to paint the aluminum on the window frames as well. So we ended up just painting the outside of the aluminum frames, that middle bar you'll see we taped off. The wind made it a little tricky, but it wasn't too terrible. We got this done relatively quickly. And here, we look like all wrapped up in like Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And once we taped off the windows, plasticed off the tires, the rear view mirror, the front of the bus. We were ready to go, ready for primer. So here's Sven mixing the primer, putting it into the spray gun and all of that good stuff. This is a fun little trick here he did with taping the sides of the bucket to make a little pour spout. And he's loading up the gun. Oh. 
And here goes the primer. So we had to mess a little bit with the quantity of thinner we put in the primer because it went on very, very thick at first. And you'll see me over on the left side there. I'm just wiping down, like I said, all the surfaces of the bus with mineral spirits to get that paint dust off the surfaces. And we didn't tape off the roof in retrospect. This wasn't the best idea. You'll see the overspray here on that white roof because this paint is not supposed to adhere to the Henry's Tropical, um, but it's really just making a big mess for us to clean up later. We were hoping that would come off easily, but that might not be the case. And I'm just pointing out all the areas that need a little extra paint that Sven might not see. And with that, priming was done. We left it overnight to dry, and then in the morning, I came out and picked off all the bugs and dirt that had gotten stuck in the primer while Sven prepped the white paint. With the lesson learned from yesterday, we added a little more thinner to this coat of paint, and it was still pretty thick. And filling up the basin of the gun with the little filter in it. Let's do some test sprays. And we're off! And you can tell, unfortunately, it wasn't the most windstill day, so I'm just trying to make sure that no paint droplets are flying onto our neighbor's house.
paint droplets were, however, flying onto Sven's face. And then the plastic came back off and we are ready to get a good look at how our bus was going to look. Overall, it turned out really nice. We still have a few things that need to be done on this side. Like I said, that overspray on the roof and our yellow hubcaps. And then we just have to do the exact same thing on the entire other side. So that's what we're gonna do. 